Welcome, this is the Tennessee Algebra 2 in a course practice test. Question number 55. The question says three friends paid the same price per pound of each type of fruit. The number of pounds of each type of fruit bought and total price paid by each friend are shown below. Rosa bought two pounds bananas, three pounds peaches, blah, 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 blah. Long story short is that since we have three different uh, fruits and different prices, we're going to do a system of equations with three variables. So essentially what the first one would look like for Rosa is 2, and we'll call it B, it could be X, it doesn't matter, plus 3P plus 1G is equal to $5.94. Uh, Zach's would be 1B plus 2P plus 1G equals 456, and Kim's would be 1B plus 1G equals $2.78. Now for me, I mean you can do these the long way, uh, basically eliminating one term in two, so you have X and Y, and then doing the same thing in one of the ones you used in the other one, and find X and Y and solve it out. It takes forever. I'm going to do these as a, in a matrix form, and I'm actually going to use uh, reduced row echelon form, which means I'm going to punch it all into one big matrix, and I'm going to show you the matrix setup that I'm going to use. Now, <clears throat> and in the calculator, yay. So the first one, uh, Rosa bought two pounds of bananas, so I'm going to put <clears throat> my two here, sorry about that. Three pounds of peaches, one pound of grapes, and she paid five dollars and ninety-four cents. Zach bought one pound of bananas, two pounds of peaches and one pound of grapes for four dollars and fifty six cents. Kim's you have to be a little bit more careful because they give you pounds of bananas and she bought pounds of grapes but she didn't buy any peaches so I need to put a zero there and then she paid two dollars and seventy eight cents. So what I'm going to do is set this up as one single matrix so I'm going to go into my calculator let me bring it up here and then I'm going to go into a matrix, and you can see I've already started fiddling with it. So in order to get here, by the way, I went to second, let me quit out, I went to second, matrix, and then I need to go over, and I'm going to edit. I've already got two matrices in here. Uh, then I just need to type in the values. So in this one, this is a 3 by 4. The first number is the number of rows, and the second number is the number of columns. So I've got 2, 3, 1, and I need to add $5.94. Uh, then I've got one, two, one, and I need to add four dollars and fifty-six cents. And the last one I've got one zero one, and I need to add two dollars and seventy-eight cents. Now I'm going to go back and look at it, and make sure it's all right. I'm going to quit out so I can use the matrix. Go down to matrix again, and then I'm going to find the math that I'm looking for. If I click down. Number uh, letter B here, it goes through 10 and then it's got A and B. B is RRF, which is reduced row echelon form. This can help us figure out what they are just by using a Gaussian elimination, like you need to know that. Just remember it's two R's EF, right? So hit enter, and then I just need to choose my matrix. And I click down for no good reason. <laughs> Make sure it's matrix A. You might want to close hit enter and it should tell us our values so you can see how much each one of them is worth now in this case it's telling me in my first row that one which means the first variable is worth 49 cents the second one tells me the second variable is worth 89 and the third variable is worth two dollars and twenty nine cents so what I'm going to look for here is how much each one of them is worth and as you can see bananas would be worth 49 cents peaches would be worth 89 cents and grapes would be worth two dollars and twenty nine cents so my answer to number 55 <clears throat> is just D. So anytime you have sort of a three variable system all you have to do is punch them into a matrix that has enough to have the answers in there too. go into the RRF uh, section hit that it'll do the uh, the elimination for you give you the three answers that you need and then you have your answer much more quickly than having to do it the long way so this is what I would suggest doing there's other ways to do it if you want to see the other ways we can show them to you so just put some stuff in the comments about hey do it the long way or I'd like to really spend a lot of time doing this one problem and we'll do it so good luck